Hello kids. Today we have a presentation about fish ID. We want to be able to identify the fish that we're going to catch here in Western Montana. You got to know some of them, some of them you can keep, some of them you have to throw back. Okay, but I thought I'd start today with a little bit of a, a little joke, something that we can all laugh about a little bit here. I heard this the other day and I thought it was quite cute. And, and uh, let, let me know what you think here. Okay, uh, there was this elementary school class that had this uh, little exercise or tradition thing that they did that uh, every day they would pick a name out of a hat and then they would pick a letter out of a hat, a letter in the alphabet out of the hat. And on the even days, the teacher would ask you what you were good at and it had to start with that particular letter. And on the odd days, you would tell them something that you were not particularly good at, okay? Uh, and it had to start with that letter. So, the uh, teacher uh, uh, says, okay, let's pick out a name. So it picks out Fred, and then it picks out 11. So 11's an odd number. So Fred has to tell the teacher what he's not good at. They, pull, they pick the letter out of the hat, and it's G. So Fred has to say something that he's not good at with G, like maybe geometry or geography or games or something like that. But you know, when you get picked on, you can't think just right. You just, you can't think straight. You know, you're on the, you're on the spot. So Fred was sitting there and he couldn't think and he couldn't think and he said, the teacher said, well, Fred, can you tell me something that you're not good at that starts with G? And he said, spelling. Okay, let's get started here. Here are some of the trout. We got five trout right here and then two other predator fish. We're going to show you these and I want you to be able to identify them when you catch them. We will do a catch and release video here soon. Okay, but here's the first one. It's a very, very colorful fish. Got a red belly, has black and white on its fins. Okay, this is a brook trout. Okay, and the brook trout is a common fish, but not so common. It's in the rivers during uh, the early season when the water is cold. And it's a very cold water fish, so it will move out of the streams and go up into the little creeks because that's where the snow melt. That's where the snow melts, and uh, the water's a lot colder. So you'll catch a lot of them in the little creeks, but you don't catch too many in the big rivers come uh, summer when the water's too warm for them. Okay, you can always tell this fish by the white and black on its fins. Okay, it doesn't always have the red belly. Okay, uh, the, the red belly just means that this is a boy during spawning season and he's trying to attract girlfriends, okay? So he, he only has this uh, red belly in September through about the, the first of the year or something like that, okay? Uh, they don't get very big. Uh, a good, this is a good sized fish. Just remember, always white and black. They don't always, the brook trout don't always have this red belly. Let's go on to another one right here. This one's a pretty easy one, okay? This is a rainbow trout. You can tell it's got a red stripe right across there, okay? Uh, white on the bottom, dark on top. Now they're all, all a trout are dark on top because they don't want the eagles and the ospreys to come and, and uh, find them too easy. So they're very camouflaged. And on a uh, cloudy day, they could be camouflaged from underneath too, okay? Their belly will blend in with the uh, clouds. Okay, so a very common fish. We brought these over from Europe, I believe in the 1800s, okay? Uh, you can always tell, white on the bottom, nice red stripe, and then uh, 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 green green back for camouflage. Uh, you can keep these. Here's one that I hope everybody should know. Um, this is a cutthroat trout. You can see it has the red marks right there. Again, a white belly, camouflaged on top, but he has these white, these really red uh, slashes right here. That's why he's called a cutthroat trout. Now, one time somebody told me that it was a sore throat trout, and another time somebody told me it was a redneck trout, 
But my favorite one was there was a little boy sitting in the front row and it was in about second or third grade, pretty young. And I asked, the, I asked the class, can anybody tell me the name of this trout? And the boy was thinking really hard and then he raised his hand, you know, and pick me, pick me. And I, 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 then he goes like this, come on, pick me, pick me. So I said, okay, can you tell me what the name of this trout is? And that boy looked me right in the eye and he told me it was Matthew. Okay, maybe it is. All I know is the cutthroat trout is our state fish, okay? Uh, it is also a state fish of Idaho and Colorado, I believe. Um, what, el what else is our state, what's our state flower? The bitterroot. What's the state tree? The uh, ponderosa pine. What's the state bird? The western meadowlark. And what's the state car? A Subaru. This is a cutthroat trout. Native to Montana, our state fish. Okay, here's my favorite. Now, I also often get asked, are these trout real? No, these are models that we um, had painted to look like trout. Okay, they're plastic models. We didn't kill any fish uh, to make these uh, mounts right here. Now, you can see that on the top, he doesn't have a dorsal fin, okay? Yeah, it melted in the sun. He's been around a little bit. He's, one of his fins fell off and he's been with me for a while. Okay, this is a pretty easy one. It's brown. It's a brown trout. Has some nice red spots on it, if you can see that. Okay, they get pretty big. They get really pretty big. Uh, it's my favorite fish. They're pretty aggressive and they're a lot of fun to catch. They spawn in the fall. You can throw a big grasshopper at them or something and they like to eat that. Uh, they fight really hard and they're... Um, uh, I really like this fish. This is a brown trout, okay? Now this next one is one you're gonna have to remember, okay? You see this trout? It's one of the bigger ones. Well, this fish only has white on his fins. Now he's big, but just remember, they all start out as an egg. He didn't pop out of the egg and go, boo, I'm this big, okay? He had to grow up. Uh, but he only has white on his fins, okay? The thing about this fish, this is called a bull trout, okay? And he only has white on his fins. If you'll remember, the brook trout has white and black on his fins. When the brook trout doesn't have a red belly like this, he kind of looks a little bit like this bull trout, okay? But don't be fooled because a bull trout only has white on his fins, and a brook trout has white and black. So no black, you have to throw it back. These got very big. They are now on the endangered species list. That's why you have to uh, throw them back. Uh, the reason for that is they got big and we couldn't let them go. Uh, so we overfished them a little bit and then they lost some habitat. What they do is they go up to small rivers, uh, small creeks, and they spawn there, and then the cows step on the eggs and stuff. So ranchers in the, and the state are fencing, fencing places off where the cows can get all the water they need and the fish can um, uh, make their reds. Uh, reds is a nest where they uh, lay their eggs, okay? So we're doing everything to protect them. They're coming back. You can keep them in some places in the state, but not around Missoula. All right, that's our five trout right there. Uh, that were the most common trout that we have. Now there's a couple of other fish that are quite common. They are not native. Na not native means they don't belong here. Okay, deer, elk, and bear are native to Montana, but rhinoceroses and giraffes are not. All right, and these two fish are not native to Montana. Okay, the first one is, it's a largemouth bass. Okay, you can tell he's a largemouth bass because look at that. You might think that you sit next to a largemouth bass in school. Yuck, 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 yuck. Okay. Uh, this guy has a great big, a great big mouth. That means he's a predator. He has this line that goes along here like this. That's called the lateral line, and they pick up vibrations in the water, and that's how they kind of hear. Okay. Uh, you catch a lot of these. Uh, down in ponds, mostly they're not so much in the rivers. So if you went to Frenchtown Pond or something, you'd probably catch a bunch of these. Okay, this is a largemouth bass, you can tell. Big mouth, big stripe. Here's the one that's really very big and tough on our fish. Okay, 
this is a northern pike. Okay, you can tell that this is a predator. Look at this mouth. Look at the rows of teeth. Do you think that he developed that mouth over 50 million years to eat salad? I don't think so. He's quite a predator, okay? He doesn't belong here. He was on the other side of the mountains. The mountains are supposed to keep the fish from going, from coming to where they don't belong. This fish is voracious. He eats a lot of food. Um, our fish don't grow fast enough to feed these guys. All right, uh, they come from places where there's sunfish, perch, you know, fish that have populations that just explode. A little perch can, in, in one year, can make thousands, hundreds, thousands and thousands of babies. And that's what the pike normally eats. Our trout take a couple of years. This trout right here is gonna take about two years. And this fish right here is gonna eat them once a week. So it doesn't work out too good for our fish. They get very big. They are getting to be about uh, over 50 inches long. They're approaching 40 pounds. Small fish like this, this one's probably a less about 30 inches or so, uh, will eat uh, trout. It'll eat baby birds, it'll eat mice. All right, when they get big, and I mean big, over 50 inches, that's four and a half feet long. That's an awfully big fish. They'll eat full grown ducks. They'll eat muskrats. They're a very big animal. They eat snakes, they eat birds, they eat. Whatever they can eat, they will, okay? So this is a northern pike, okay? You can tell he's streamlined, got a big mouth, got eyes set on top of his head right there, like an alligator, okay? Uh, completely camouflaged. He's streamlined, he's very fast. Look, no dorsal fin. The dorsal fin moved back here. Okay, that makes this half of this part of his body a big rocket ship. So he's an ambush predator. He lays in the weeds because he's so camouflaged. And when you come by, you're a Snickers bar. Okay, if you don't go close to him, he can just rocket ship out with this great big tail. Come get you, two prong predator. Get you when you come close. Get you when he. Get you when you're going when you're far away. Okay, so it's very. It's a fish that. Just like a rhinoceros, you wouldn't mind seeing one. You don't want to see one on your front lawn. Well, this is a nice fish, and, and it's fun to catch. Who doesn't want to catch a fish that's four and a half feet long? All right, it's a fun fish to catch. They taste good. They're great to eat. They just don't belong here. So check your regulations. We would like to, uh, you to keep as many of these as the regulations allow. All right, uh, so that's most of our native fish that we have here in uh, my... Mon Western Montana, the, the normal ones that you're probably going to catch. We have other trout, we have golden trout, uh, we have several other kind of trout. Okay, very, um, very diverse fishery we have here, but these are the main ones that you'll catch. Okay, kids, until next time, I'll see you later.